Good evening, everybody, and welcome to a very exciting event that we've got here at Denson College this evening, where we've got some uh, first team netball between Denson College and Repton School. Um, and um, not only is it exciting because we've got two very good teams going head to head, it's also the first time that we have streamed a, uh, a live netball game here. Um, so thanks to the, the middle school tech team that's put this all together. And um, we hope we have a, a very good fixture for us to enjoy. Now I am joined, thankfully, on, on co-commentary by uh, Denson School Captain um, Emily. Um, so Emily, excited for today? A hundred percent. I'm so excited. The girls have worked so hard for this, so hopefully it will be a good outcome today. Okay. Right, Repton with the first centre pass and we'll have a look at the Repton attack for the first time. Last year in the corresponding fixture, uh, Denson won. It was a really close, hard-fought match and we expect very similar um, on this occasion. Repton moving the ball down the court, and we'll take the first shot at goal. Or not, Denson with a turnover. So, Emily, what do you think that Miss Mountford will be looking for in attack? Um, potentially a lot of space created and a nice, easy feed into the D. Okay, something to look out for. Um, also, we're joined by um, some of our Repton team as well. Um, so, um, first of all, we have joining us with... Arabella Corner. Okay, Annabella, hi. Um, so, how's the season gone so far? Um, it's going well so far. H uh, high hopes for regionals that's coming up in the next few days. So, it's exciting times at the moment. Okay. Amazing. And um, I've seen that you've won lots of fixtures this year. Um, and uh, just, I think, one narrow defeat to a county side. Is that right? Uh, yeah, unfortunately, but I think we've had a good pre-season so far and hopefully it will go better and better from now here on out. Right, so we've seen two good defences on the show so far with the score still at 0-0, at lots of turnover ball. I expect there might be some nervous people out there um, with a big fixture and of course being live streamed. So um, hopefully these attacks will find some rhythm, get some points on the board. Repson narrowly... Missing with their, with their shots. Finally, a score on the board. Denson with the next centre pass. So what can we expect from Repson's attack? Is there anything in particular that uh, Miss Pinto will be looking for? Um, I think she'll be looking for good movement in the circle and making sure that we're using the space as best as possible and especially helping bring up the ball into the attack and just making sure the passes are clean and it's a clean game. Something else to look out for. Right, Denson respond. Amelia scoring with her first shot on goal. And we're locked at one apiece. Repton looking just to work the ball around the, around the, the D. And I take the score out to 2 1, Denston with the centre pass. Denston's this time, this turn to uh, work the ball around the corner. And Tessa straight in with a great shot. So, score is two apiece. And it does look like we've finally got a bit of rhythm to the attacks and maybe, uh, maybe getting rid of some nerves as the team settle down. Okay, score for Repson. So, who do we have at goal attack? That's Ruby Ogden. So, Ruby there with a, uh, with a very good shot. Denson with a chance to respond. Tessa scores again, equalises at 3-3. Still with centre pass. Right, Amelie, how did Denson try and win this ball back? They will tend to body up in the D and then they'll try and just turn it over as hard as they can then feed it back into the D. Okay, talk to me about bodying up. What, what are we looking for with that? Um, keeping up on your player, not letting them move that much, and then hopefully they get a turnover. So big rebound there, won by Repton. Uh, chance there for Denson to have made a turnover, but uh, Repton do manage to find a way in. Millie Jacqueline Chatter just controlling 
the speed at the centre there. As Tess once again finds the net. The score is now four each. And we'll see whether Denson can put a bit of pressure on this attack. And Mili Jack and Chatter does win the turnover. Just need to control it after the turnover. Okay, Denson win the free pass after an obstruction call. Oh, big steal. Oh, unlucky. Captain Amelia Leela just working the ball around the circle. Finds her shooting partner, Tessa. Unlucky with the shot there. So, um, Amelie, we've had Tess and Amelia working together um, in the D all year. Is this a partnership that we can expect a lot from? 100%. They work so closely within the D and they know each other really well when on the court. So, they kind of feed off of each other and what they're going to do and they communicate really well in the D and that's how we get, mainly get the goals. So, Call just went against Denston there with the ball out of play. Looked like it might have come off a Repton fingertip. Once again, Repton win a big rebound. But can't quite manage to um, take the lead. So, can Denston work the ball down the court? And the answer is no. That's a bit of a soft turnover there. Gives Repton the chance to take the lead. Coming to about halfway through this quarter, as expected, very tight, very closely contested. Great pass there by Millie Jack and Chatter finds Tess. And Tess once again with a great shot. Denson attack just starting to come together here. Repton now looking just to get the ball down the court. Denson desperately trying to find a way to get hold of that possession. Another rebound for Repton, making a big difference at the moment. And take advantage with the score. Denson centre pass with a chance to respond. So for Repton's defence, what are the key things that, we're, uh, that Repton will be hoping they can achieve today? Uh, I think they're just hoping to make the turnovers to hopefully break into the lead, especially as it's so tight at the moment. And I think we're quite good at working as a unit, so making sure everyone knows what they're doing and where everyone is. And I think that's one of our definite better traits is that we know how and which to respond. Now, you talked about your regional competition. Denson had their regional competition um, at the weekend um, and, uh, and had a really good day. Um, is there one eye on the regionals and keeping players fresh, or is it all out for the victory today? Um, I think I'd say trying to keep fresh, but realistically, we're very competitive, so I think it could be an all-out match. OK, right, so it might have been Denson's first miss there, I think, and Repton have got the chance to take a two-goal lead, always very important with uh, the alternate centre passes. Can Denson win it back? Andy Croxford, they're working super hard at wing defence. Bell and Lucky there, not quite getting the turnover, but Hannah Mears with the turnover. Can Denson look after the ball now? And the answer is no. Turnover, Repton. Denson couldn't capitalise on, on their own turnover there. Just gone a little bit scrappy. Denson winning possession back. Can they take advantage of a turnover? Once again, coughing up possession, a little bit soft there. But a great leap by Bell Love, just gets her hand to the ball. Not quite enough to win possession. And Repson do get the chance to take a two goal lead. Yep, and there's the score, another good shot. Repton taking advantage, going 7-5 up. 
and with the next centre pass. Oh, it's unlucky there. Henry had to stop Clark. Could have got the turnover there. Just unlucky not to get hold of the ball. Benson keep on getting hands on the ball, but just not managing to, to get it. Penalty call there on Bell Love for the obstruction. And a great shot, Repton. Just opening up a little bit of a lead here. Benson will be desperate to respond with just a couple of minutes left in this first quarter. Oh, unlucky there. Back to the Denson defense here just to try and get this ball back. Just an important part of the game here with a three goal lead. Rips him with the possession and the next center pass. But Denson win it back. Emily, how do you see it going so far? I think defense is really, really good. Attack, they're just slipping up and making a few mistakes, but I think we can get back, get back on track. Okay, just a minute and a half left in this quarter. Can Denson get the loose ball? Just about. Just need to play with a little bit of control here. They've gone a little bit scrappy when they get a bit quick. So, the idea here will be to get Millie Jack and Chatter on the ball just to control the tempo. Denson may be fortunate to get that call there because the pass looked a little bit loose. Umpire making her expectations very clear there. A super pass there by Henrietta Stock Clark, the vice captain, to the captain. Amelia Lee. With a, with a score. Big moment there for, for Amelia Lee. We are into the final minutes here, so big defensive effort, hopefully, for Denston. And we'll have a pretty tight first quarter played. Oh, Bell Love there, almost getting the intercept, just unlucky just to, to miss out on it. Repton with a chance here for a three goal lead. Oh, they continue to work the ball around the circle, and they do a pretty good job of it. Here's the shots. Another rebound for Repton, just hurting Denston a little bit, but she's taking it out of court. So a reprieve for Denston. Can they just play with a bit of control? Every team loves a held ball. Good there from Repton. I'm just saying a held ball there, normally celebrated by a defensive team. So unfortunately though, Repson just cough it up and that is the end of the first quarter. So we finished Denson College six, Repson School eight. We're gonna have a little break and uh, we'll be back for the second quarter.
Right, time for the second quarter. Um, as expected, really tight first one. Uh, Denison will start with possession. So Henrietta Sutt Clark just gets free. Moves the ball down the court to Amelia and Tess in the circle. Oh, it's unlucky with the shot there. Nice little pass in by Millie Jacklin Chatter. But the, uh, the rebound just goes against Denston. Been a bit of a story of the game so far. Big interception there, Millie Jacklin Chatter. Is that something you're used to seeing, Emily? Sorry? Big interception there from Millie, is she? Yes, definitely. She's definitely one of the main ones who tends to turn over the ball. Um, so, yeah, we can rely on her for that. Right, so well, unfortunately Denston have lost possession there for Denston. So um, once again, they're looking for a big play in defence. Can they, can they keep Repson away from the circle? Something that actually when Repson have got to the circle, they've been pretty deadly. Contact call could have gone against Bell Love there. But... Oh, but that was probably a little bit unlucky there. Any Croxford almost winning the turnover there. Good movement there for Repton to get free and take the lead out to three goals with the next possession so once again just a bit of a big moment here for Denston College as they look to find a way just to try and get back into this game <laughs> nearly there by Henry Stock Clark there getting fingertips to the ball but just couldn't quite bring it in Denston continues to try and put a bit of pressure on Repton a bit too much pressure from Bell Love there who will have to stand down for this next moment Another good shot. Repton go 10-6 in front. Can Denson respond? A nice pass there by Annie Croxford. They work the ball very well into Tess Air. Unlucky with the shot. Finally, Denson win a rebound. So Tess gets a second go. This time, no mistake, really good shot. So 10-7. Can Denson, oh, again, Denson get a fingertip on the ball. Millie Jacklin chatter, but not quite enough to get possession. Still plenty of pressure here on Repton, trying to find a way to the circle. Hannah Mears there with a touch, but the call goes against Denston. Be a Repton ball from the side. Okay, will she take the shot or look to work the ball around the circle? The call goes against Denston here. Oh, offside goes against the wing attack there, just into the D there. So, big moment for Denson's defence. Can they play with a bit of control? Here's the captain, Amelia Lee. Finds the vice captain, Henry Stuck Clark. Look like they've just got their groove again. Will Amelia take the shot? Looks like she will. Um, and so she should. 8 10, Denson sends a pass. Just working their way back into this game. So, Millie Jacklin chatted with the feed. Lots of pressure by the Repton defence, but uh, shot goes in. We're back to 9 10. Denson just getting a little bit of momentum, Emily. Definitely. Um, we're working harder to get the ball and more determination, so I think the talk with Miss Mountford really helped the team. Do you think there's anything in particular that you've seen different this quarter that maybe Miss Mountford has been keen to see? Definitely citing more options around the court and mostly taking your time. A super shot there from Repton, taking the lead back out to two. Just building their attack here through Millie Jack and Chatter, getting plenty of touches on the ball, looking to control the tempo. See lots of options coming out here. Amelia with a shot from range, or will she work the circle? Yeah, great decision. Lovely feed there from Millie Jacklin Chatter. And Tessa once again with the goal. Takes the lead back down to one for Repton. Denson looking good in this quarter. Bell of working really hard. Very physical in the D there. 
Uh, missed shot, but she'll get a second bite of the cherry. Hannah Mears just called for being too close there with an obstruction. No mistake this time for 12-10. Lovely take in the air by Henrietta Stock Clark. We've seen that many times this season. Yes, definitely. We've really tried working on the first and second phases of the second passes and then feeding it straight into the D. So I think that's evident here what we're trying to do. Okay. Also working hard on defence there, Henrietta Stock Clark. But Repton have it back. Or oh, they did. Millie Jacqueline Chatter wins the ball. And then wins a free penalty pass as well. So, Denson win it back. Can they capitalise? Uh, very quick ball movement through the court. But the feed doesn't quite find its way to Tess Air. Repton worked the ball down the court. Again, Millie Jacqueline Chatter with another steal. Shooter just can't get quite close enough to the goal. But here's Amelia Lee. Under pressure but with a great shot. So, lead is back down to one, 12-11 in favour of Repton. There's not actually had a lead yet in this game, but hoping for parity if they can win another turnover. Can you miss Mountford calling for a man on defence here? What does that mean, Emily? Keep really close to your player and don't try not let them, let them get any space. Okay, well, it might have worked there because the shot is missed. Denson have the chance to take the ball down the courts. And he crocks for just losing a foot in there, but Denson will win the, the sideline pass. Can they find their shooters? Shooting percentage is really high today. Just got to get that ball in the circle. Once again, Tess Air gets the score, takes it back to 12-12. Denson with the centre pass. Can they get their first lead? Umpire's call goes towards Denston. A super feed again there from Millie. Tess doesn't quite finish it, but she may get another go. Or no call there from the umpire, so... Repson will win the ball. Croxford with a big turn over there. Just needs to play with a bit of care. Goal defence out of commission here. But they still can't capitalise. The one Repson defender comes out with possession. But has run offside. So... A little bit of a soft one there that Denston might be able to capitalise on. Call goes to Denston there. Looked like it might have been a hell ball, but obstruction, probably the reason why. Amelia Lee scores with the advantage. Denston take the lead. 13-12. Looks like we're going to have a great game. Just as expected, it's going to be a very close one. Offside call goes against Repton again. Looked like Denson wing attack and Repton wing defence might have been offside there, but the call's gone against Repton's wing defence first. So Denson have the chance here to see if they can get a two-goal lead and the next possession on the centre pass. Can they find their shooters? A big turnover, Repton centre there gets a hand in the way. Just about managed to look after possession. So Repton with a chance to equalise. Just got a little bit scrappy. Another turnover ball goes Denson's way. There's a little bit more calm there. Bell there at goal defence. Just taking a little bit of time to assess the options. Taking full use of her three seconds. Once again, just taking the time, trying to get a little bit of bit of control in this Denston play. Finally, they find a, a way to get it into the ball, into the circle. And immediately, just a bit of clever play there. 
just trying to get into the circle. Get it nice and close. Another good shot from Amelia. And Denson take a two-goal lead and with a centre pass. A big quarter here for Denson. There's two minutes to go. Denson just building momentum and, and looking to take advantage of it. Uh, super feed there from Henrietta into Tess in the circle. The goalkeeper just loses a balance. And Tess finishes. 15-12, Denson. You're getting exciting, Emily, I can tell. Yes, definitely. I mean, we've been working really hard towards this game. Um, and it looks like it's paying off. Yeah, certainly this quarter's gone well. Offside call there goes against Annie Croxford there, just sneaking into the circle. So it'll be a Repson pass just on the inside of the circle. Full work call goes against the goal shooter. Repson not happy with that call. Another call goes against Repson there with just contact in... In the attacking third. Amelia with the opportunity. Once again, finds the goal. Big quarter for Denston. Next centre pass. Ball is in the hands of Millie Jack and Chatter. Lots of options on. Denston just needs to have a bit of confidence and let the ball go. When it's on, move that ball. Another super pass. Feed into the circle. Captain Amelia Lee. Scores and Repton desperate here just to find a way back into this game. Okay, Denson looking to exert a bit of defensive pressure here, but they're a little bit too close again there on the call. Very, very physical in the center in the court in the circle. So that was an off-the-ball contact call against Bell that um, Repton have taken advantage of. Which is great timing, as that ends the first... Right, so I've got uh, Denson's first team captain here, um, Amelia Lee. Amelia, enjoying the game so far? Yeah, it's been a very good game. It's good we've pulled back to the win now. Oh, yeah, big quarter for Denson there. Is there anything we were particularly looking to do there in that quarter that, that came off well? I think just making sure we keep in possession because we made a few errors in the first quarter. So I think just maintaining the possession within the team. Happy with the shooting percentages for yourself and Tess in the, in the circle? At the start, mine was a bit ropey, but now it's getting better. <laughs> okay, yeah, I think the shooting's been really good so far. So, do we expect more of the same in the second half? Are there, is there any big changes needed? Um, Sophie Hotchkiss coming at wing defence, and then Annie Crox has moved to centre, so hopefully that'll be okay. good for the next quarter. And so, and then Millie Jack and Chatter gone to wing attack, so Henrietta's going to start just off this one. Okay, um, anything in attack in particular we're going to look for? Um, 
Um, I think just making sure we're not trying to just out sprint them on the baseline, and just keeping moving, doing a bit more prelim. Okay. Right, amazing. Good luck in the second half. What do you mean? Right, second half underway. Denson with the possession and uh, just looking to build on that really strong quarter there. Tess held that very well. Obstruction call. Cool goes against them uh, and, and Tess takes advantage there to score oh Hannah, Hannah Mears there getting hand to the ball but just can't quite manage to win possession there but it's uh, more pressure on the Repton attack Repton working the ball around the circle and uh, get the ball into Ogden's hands. Ogden just doesn't manage to finish it. Hannah Mears with the rebound. Denson a bit scrappy though and, and can't, can't quite turn it over. Bomhurst at centre just looking to control play here. So um, I do have some Repton representatives with me for this half um, so we can find out what, what was discussed at half time. What are we looking to do in this quarter? We're just looking to clean up our passes in the mid-court from defence and just to make sure people are keep staying back. So, yeah. Okay, thank you very much. So just had a little bit of a reshuffle here. And their attack will just probably set up a little bit differently with Croxford at centre. Oh, super shots. Captain Amelia Lee there. Denson go 19-13 up. So, Millie Jack and Chatter now at wing attack. Often her position when she plays in the under-19s MPL league. So, certainly a position that she knows well. Still very physical in the centre there. Tessa just trying to hold her space. Amelia with a shot here from distance. But scores. Right, it's Bomhurst with possession here. 
and Repton look to move the ball down the court. Feed there goes into Ogden. It's a shot from range, or they'll work the circle. Look like a contact there by the Denson centre. Repton win the ball. Oliver with the chance that she takes. Okay, super shots. Uh, well taken there by Amelia Lee. Very fast athletic play there from Denson to get the ball into the circle. And more super shooting. So what are Repton going to have to do to just stop this Denson attack from firing? I think we just need to work more closely together on picking up those balls coming in from the centre third into the Denson's attacking end third. Um, so I think slowly but surely I think we'll learn how they play better and pick off those balls that we can get because we're definitely getting the tips but just not quite getting the turnovers. Yeah, absolutely. Um, right, Denson back here with possession here. Sophie Hotchkiss just obstructed there, reps in a little bit too close and Denson keep possession nice move there by Annie Croxford reps in unlucky there because Shield there with a big hand on the ball but just doesn't quite do enough, fast in and out there by Jacqueline Chatter, the crowd have enjoyed that one and Amelia Lee takes advantage Denson take it out, 22-14 and with the next possession Uh, Sophie with a nice play there. Just didn't panic when all the options were taken. Immediately holds the space. Uh, shot from range. And a good shot from range. Denson just taking this out here, 23-14. Repson hoping to just get a foothold back in this game. Jacqueline Chatter there unlucky. Another tip on the ball there, Jacqueline Chatter. Getting hands on the ball there twice in quick succession and Denson won it back. Now, can they look after possession? Oh, unlucky there from Bromhurst almost taking the ball in. Call goes against Denson there. I think Tessair felt like she'd been obstructed, but it's a held ball and Repson won it back. Right, Amelie, did you uh, did you catch any of the, the half-term team talk there? or? Um, not really. I think the girls are just on a high now, but they need to just keep it smooth and keep the high score going. Yeah, keep keep the momentum going. Repton undoubtedly looking to stop it. And the footwork call in the, in the, in the centre circle goes against Denston there. Repton get the chance to hit back. Uh, it is a super shot by Ogden. The reps and shooting stats have been pretty, pretty spectacular as well. Sophie Hotchkiss putting plenty of pressure on there. But reps and look after possession. Denson working so hard in defence there, just trying to put pressure on the ball. But it will be Ogden again. Unfortunately, just didn't lift it high enough there. And Hannah Mears wins another rebound goalkeeper. Denson looking to move the ball down the court. Lovely play there between Amelia Lee and Millie Jacqueline Chatter. Contact call goes against Langley there for Repton. And Amelia scores. Lee goes back out to seven, Denson with possession. It's quite an experienced Denson College team here because Players like Amelia and Henrietta, probably their fourth year of first team netball. As expected, they know each other's game particularly well. Jack and Chatter just does well there, just not to go offside on the line. Finds Tess there with another feed, and Tess scores again. Lead out to eight. No doubt Miss Mountford will be um, desperate for Denston to just keep their foot on the gas here. Really well held there by Bromhurst as Repson look after possession. Oliver with a the feed there into Ogden and they work well together there. And Oliver will have the chance to score, which she takes. 
So with Repton um, going into their regionals on Sunday, who is likely to be the, uh, the big competition in the regional round? I mean, I think it's quite a high standard, especially, unfortunately, the region we're in and we're playing at Oundle. And so I think it's everyone, really. Like, we've got a really tough pool stage, so hopefully we can make it through that. But, we'll, like, I think it should be a good tournament to watch. And it'll be a close pool to see who will be our toughest. Yeah, Denson had the same thing, really. Denson were a little bit unlucky last Sunday, where, um, obviously, to get through, you're playing against teams that have um, all won... Um, their area competition, their county rounds, and uh, so Denson played a really high standard. Um, unfortunately, uh, they were drawn against Bromsgrove and Kingbridge Stratford, who are the two teams actually that that won the competition and, and go through to the national rounds. But really close competitive games and plenty of wins um, in the regional. So it's a great experience for the Denson girls. Denson just go a little bit scrappy there, cough up possession. And uh, unusually for Denson, a missed shot as well. Give Repton the chance just to get back into this game. Super pass there over distance there with uh, Burton Rowe. Just making, uh, making some good passes there. Get Repton attack moving forward. Ogden Oliver once again uh, with a chance, but Repton unfortunately turned the ball over. Denson will have the, the chance with a backline pass to see if they can move the ball down the line. Nearly a held ball, but um, just about managed to keep possession. We've got three minutes left in quarter three. Denson with a lead. Tess holds the space really well there. And gets the obstruction call, so she gets a second bite of the cherry, which she takes. Denson take it out 27-19. Baker there at wing attack, uh, just with a good pass, offering herself on the edge of the circle as well. She gets it back, feed into the circle is good. Oliver has the chance. Unfortunately, just misses there. Unlucky with that shot. And uh, Denson will get the backline pass. Nicely taken there by Sophie Hotchkiss. Moves down to Annie Croxford. They work the ball well. Millie rises like a salmon, takes that ball in there, but... Bromhurst there wins possession back. And Repton have the chance to score. Oh, Croxford there just manages to do enough to win possession of the ball back there. So much pressure on the ball. Pressure also coming from Repton there. So uh, they'll win the ball back with the sideline pass. Both defences here just working so hard, making life difficult for their partner. Repton looks to go backwards just to keep possession of the ball. Bromhurst links up well there with Baker. So first, re first rebound one by Repton. Second one there again goes to Repson. The contact call goes against Bell Love and Repson score. A super shot there by Oliver. Big contact there. Denser looks to work the centre, but oh, unlucky there. Burton Rowe there nearly winning the turnover, just can't keep control of the ball. Give Denson another chance. Bellov offers the outlet at the back there, just, just to be an option to keep possession with the ball. Millie Jack and Chas just uses her three seconds. Nice little interplay there with herself and Amelia Lee. Amelia just decides against the shot. Tessa keeps it in. It's pretty physical in this circle now. Defence is really... Trying hard to uh, to put pressure on it. All right, so feed went to Tess Air then, but the whistle's gone for the end of third quarter, so Denson don't quite manage to uh, to take advantage. Uh, score, we have it as 27-20, and uh, we move into the final quarter.
Right, moving to the final quarter here. In a uh, very eagerly contested game. Got quite physical there in that final, in that third quarter. Um, Denson looking again to put a bit of pressure on, but we're up to move the ball and uh, don't quite manage to finish, but they'll get another chance with the contact call. Hannah Mears, big hand on the ball. And the call goes Denson's way. So Denson win possession of the ball. Oh, but unfortunately, a little turnover there gives Repton a chance. Footwork call goes against the goal shooter. Just gone scrappy at the end of this first half. Both teams will be desperate to have a good start to this quarter. Denson just trying to take the lead out, but Repton hoping to, uh, to get back into this game. They'll need a good start. Big hand in there. It's a really, really good stop there by Burton Rowe. Denson maintained possession. So, Amelie, can Denston do it? Absolutely, 100% they can. We've worked so hard for this moment and I think it's just, we just need to keep the ball rolling and not get too ahead of ourselves with the score. Well, we knew reps and netball would always be very strong, as they always are. So it would be um, quite a result for Denston if they, if they did manage to finish it. Bell Love there with a big hand, just making life hard for Repton. Repton maintain possession. Sophie also trying to put pressure on the ball and is successful as Repton take it out of court. Right, Repton work the ball around the circle, just trying to get a little bit closer to the net. Ball is available. But Repton come up with a rebound and we'll have the chance to score. Right, Croxford with a centre pass. Not many changes on this Denston team. They keep the attack as they had it. Tess brings the ball in, has the chance, and takes the chance. Pretty rapid score there from Denston. They move the ball down the court quickly. And uh, Repson just couldn't manage to get a hand on it. Again, very physical under the post here. Bell Love working so hard just to make life tough here for the reps and shooters. I'm sure the umpires will be keeping a close eye on how physical it is. Another contact call goes against Denston. Repson will have the chance to shoot from range if they want it. Or they can work the circle. So the shot is missed. Uh, Denson don't quite win the rebound, but the, the contact call goes for them. Hotchkiss and Crotswood working together well, as always. Bell just looks after possession. They're very calm in possession. Just about managed to get it away before the hell ball called. Amelia fires in the pass over the top to Tess. Tess Air scores another one for Denson College. Just taking this lead out with around about eight minutes left to play. Denson with the centre pass, so they'll have another chance to, to score. The Croxford there working really hard, but the pass doesn't quite go to hand. Repson won it back. And Repson have the chance to move the ball down the court. The pass unfortunately goes astray. Just might have a bit of fatigue here for Denson. They've, Kept the same girls on the court um, in the main, um, where Repson have made some changes here. Physical challenge there, Repson come away with possession. Work the ball into the circle. And we'll have the chance just to reduce the deficit back to seven goals. Uh, but a drop ball there. Means Denson will win it back with back line pass. They'll be desperate to move this ball all the way down the courts. Super pass there from Hannah Mears. 
But another turnover there, Repton hungry to win that loose ball. And they will have the chance to get back in this game. Another good shot. Things tend to get a little bit tense as we move into the final six minutes or so. Denson once again coughing up possession there with a loose centre pass. Repton have a chance here just to build a bit of momentum. If they can score, and then they'll get the next centre pass. Rebound is loose, but again, Repton hungrier for the ball there and win a loose, loose ball. That's a tough obstruction call there. Looked to be a good distance. Okay. Overthrown uh, shot there. Always a sensible option when the goal shooter's in position under the post. So just getting a bit tight now, a little bit close. Repton with the possession, the chance to make it a pretty close score line. Umpire's call again goes to, against Denson there. Denson looking to put, put pressure on the possession. Another call off the ball in the circle. Continues to be very physical in there. A little bit short there, big rebound by Hannah Mears. Just need to slow it, Amelie de Donka shouts in my ear. Uh, just trying to get Denson to just look after the ball. Brilliant from Millie Jacqueline Chatter, super feed. Just a big moment just to stem the, the tide here and Tessair finds the goal. Denson with a centre pass, just thinking that maybe another Breaking call goes against Denson's goal defence. Looked like there was a few break in there, but um, call, goes against, call goes against Bell Love. Repton with a chance. Unfortunately, pass goes astray. So, can Denson be calm? Yeah, really good by Bell Love there. Just slows it down when it's necessary but if it's on let the ball go here she is in possession again and he crocks her drives to the ball immediately and Millie Jacklin just linking up again there finding Tess in the circle Tess just looking for a better place to shoot from and Amelia works and we'll get another chance because of the obstruction call and scores, takes the lead out to seven again. Time just running out for Repton here. They've got four minutes left. Desperate to score on this one. They've actually worked the ball very well into the circle. Obstruction call goes against Bell. Two obstruction calls. And a score for Repton. That's just what they need. Some quick ball movements and some, some quick goal, goals on the, on the board, hoping to get back into this game. Just under four minutes to go. So, Coxford has the ball on the edge of the circle. Finds the captain, Amelia Lee, who doesn't miss. Denson subs cheering, plenty of encouragement. They recognise that just need one or two goals here just to calm it all down. Amelia Jack and Chatter gets hands on the ball. And Denson keep the pressure up and win it back. It's just about avoids the held call there. It would have been a replay, I think, against Sophie if she'd have picked that up. So Denson, unfortunately, lose possession again. Big intercept by Bell Love. Does really well to hold her feet as well. Coxford and Hotchkiss just moving the ball Beautifully down the court. Millie Jack and Chatter with the feed. Amelia Lee. As we've come to expect from her once again. Scores. And Denson just breathe easy with possession. Big feed into the circle. Doesn't quite go their way. Tess finds Millie on the edge. Millie holds a space. Oh, sorry, Amelia holds a space. And scores. So just, just a couple of minutes left. It'd be tough for Repton to, uh, to get it back from here. I'm sure they've got one eye on their regional competition on Sunday. We wish them luck in that. But if they 
big rebound there from Hannah Mears under the, under the goal. Mini drives towards the ball. A ball taken out of hand there by Repton, so Denson will win the free pass. Bell level take possession. Denson with the ball in centre immediately from distance. It was a tough shot, nice try. And the rebound goes Repton's way with the backline pass. Tess desperately working hard there, trying to win that back and follow a partner. Repton moved the ball down the court swiftly. That contact call goes against Bell Love, desperate to win the ball back, but she's out of the game here. So two against one in the circle for Denston. And still Hannah Mears gets hands on the ball. Repson will get another chance at this because Bell wasn't quite in the right place there. She works quickly back to her partner. It's back into position to put pressure on. Repson forced to go backwards again. Denston working seriously hard in defence, not letting their partner get an inch of space, but Repson working into the circle. And goal attack scores with a lovely shot there. We are into the final minutes. Lovely feed there by Millie, finds Tess. And Tess, as so she so often does, scores. Denson have a bit of breathing space, and the crowd go wild. Another hand on the ball there, tip from Millie Jack and Chatter, but Ripson maintain possession. Obstruction call goes against Hannah Mears, two against one in the circle here, but Denson still managed to win the ball back, as Repson can't quite look after possession. Great take there from Sophie Hotchkiss. Finds Millie Jack and Chatter, but the contact call goes Denson's way. Annie Croxford here is in lots of space, but the pass doesn't go to hand. But Denston finished the game with a 35 26 victory. Well played, both teams, very high standard. Um, congratulations to Denston, but Repton as well. Uh, phenomenal performance by both teams. Uh, we wish them lots of luck on Sunday in their regional competition. Um, and um, Denson Camp will be pretty happy with that one, Emily. 100%. I mean, I can tell by the smiles on the face that they're really excited, as well as me. I'm buzzing, so... Yeah. Hopefully, Emily, you'll get some good news on your knee injury and we'll get you back out on that court. Um, but um, for now, I think we'll just have to enjoy this one from a distance. Um, now, what we'll try and do is we might try and speak to some people in a, uh, in a moment. Um, so, uh, so just stick with us for now. Mrs. Durston, um, good evening to you. I hope you've um, enjoyed that game. Very much so, thank you very much. It was a brilliant spectacle of schoolgirl netball, uh, fast-paced, hard-fought, yeah. uh, physical game, and um, both sides did a, gave a really good account of themselves, um, but really congratulations to the girls today. Yeah, it's been a good week for Denson's first team because the, uh, the regional tournaments obviously went well. Good for us as well because we get to see them. We don't always get the chance to see them. Um, so a uh, big week for those girls. A big week um, and it was their first time there it was their first experience of tournament netball completely different format um, and they again they gave a really good account for, account of themselves they have done what's been asked of them they stuck to their roles they've trusted each other and um, team performances all around yeah amazing amazing what we might do is we might try and grab hold of one of the players as well I think um, thank you, yeah thank you very much mrs. Durston um, Let's, um, let's call Millie Jacqueline Chatter over. 
Um, this way, Millie. Um, how was it? Uh, I think it was good. I think it got better towards the end. It wasn't like I think we just settled our nerves and it got way better. Okay. All right. Happy with the performance? Yeah. Ten ten performance. I think it went way better than what we expected, and then we just pulled through and we adapted as we played. Okay. Have we? Uh, have they announced a, a player? Do we do that uh, in the first yeah, team? Uh, and then we gave it to their goal defence. Okay, amazing. Well, congratulations to you. Thanks. Very good performance. Well-deserved, I thought, player. Go and enjoy your cool-down. <laughs>